what were your thoughts kind of going into the second half on your side of the ball? Well, I think they, uh, I think our staff did a really good job of adjusting. I think we made some adjustments at halftime, in particular, in how to rush the ball. And then they did did a little bit of a wrinkle on third down that we got fixed to help us. But, you know, we did a great job in the second half of rushing the ball. We were really good on third down, and we had a good day in the red zone. So the most impressive thing to me was the lessons that we've learned throughout the season about keeping our poise and our composure. All of that came to fruition, you know, and it's great to see leadership. How about this guy right here? Let's go. Um, you know, we just, I think we have, we have worked really hard on building trust and building great relationships from a coach to player, player to player. And uh, I think that showed up tonight. And uh, I think I kind of felt like that that's what the game would come down to. And if we could go just play, just settle in and play through it, uh, which we had to do. Um, so I'm certainly proud of our players and the intangibles that they showed throughout the game. What's been the biggest difference for DeMario Richard these last few weeks, and how big was today he, today for you guys offensively? Well, I think DeMario is, uh, you know, just you go all the way back to the beginning. You know, you go all the way back to the off-season program, uh, getting in the best shape of his life throughout the season, really buying into what we were trying to do. And uh, I think Coach Simons did a great job with that running back group, and I think They've showed the maturity and leadership and the ability to handle adversity uh, and be a great example for their teammates in terms of their words, their actions. Um, and he, him and Kalen are great examples of that. Um, and really, if you think about it, those two guys, AJ and a handful of other guys, those are only seniors that we have on offense. It seems like every time you needed a big play in the air, Kyle Williams was right there for you. Yeah, Kyle's, uh, he's that guy, you know. And, Kyle's a product of a great work ethic, great habits, great discipline, and uh, certainly has worked his butt off to become the player that he is. So, And he's young, and he's going to continue to get better. So he's an outstanding young man, outstanding representative of this university and this, this program. When you got the punt block and then the interception you scored on both of did you feel like you've kind of taken the momentum of the game? Did you feel it shift significantly to, yeah. to your side? Yeah, they, they definitely had the momentum going into halftime. And certainly, that's what I'm most proud of is how we came out and responded, you know, and to play through those things and make a few plays to get back in position. But the, the block punt and the interception, those are, that's all three phases working well together. They gave us some short fields. We capitalized on those short fields. Uh, and it was a good team win, a good all around team win in every phase. Second to last drive, third goal. How, what was that my process like just going? Driving up that fade in the keel and what was take me through that play from your perspective? Well, I, I think we, we felt like they would pressure. You know, we, we rushed the ball in the prior third down. I think it was third and six and we ran it and it popped. Uh, so I felt like they would come after us. Uh, our staff did a good job communicating what they were seeing. And when they play matchup, they want to play matchup football. We're going we're gonna to let one go to work and five put it right on the money. So I'm proud of our players. They executed when it counted the most. Did you think his foot was in when you saw it live, or did you have to? Our guys up top told us it was in. Yeah. And then just how big of a luxury is that to have a guy like that to have a couple? He had a couple of those yeah. days tonight. And and really, he had a good week. You know, he had a, he had a quality week just in terms of his attitude and approach and the way he practiced. Um, he was a little banged up coming out of the last game and really pushed through that. Did a good job getting himself ready to play. So. I'm proud of the way he responded this week, and uh, certainly we know what he's capable of uh, when he's at his best. I was thinking the first half, sorry, did you think the first half that the team was a little tentative or just... Who? Just in general, it seemed like maybe the team wasn't quite yeah, I think on there, top of it. In the I think there was a little bit of... Uh, you know, I don't want to say anxiety, but certainly, you know, there's an element to it. It's, it's at home, it's a big game. Uh, and we didn't execute at a high level early. We made some mistakes. You know, there were some critical errors and, and some things that really were drive stoppers. So, um, and then they did a few things different. You know, they had a few wrinkles here and there, but I think our, we did a great job playing through it. We adjusted. Um, and then I think we went three and out two times in a row, and then we put, put a drive together to kind of get ourselves back in it. So 
Um, credit to our players, credit to our leadership amongst the players, um, and the resolve that they shoot, they showed uh, at critical times in the game. Every time it got a little tight, we made a play, we executed at a high level, we found a way to get it done. How was it to see a bunch of our seniors play well? Demario, Cade, Lynn, how was that? Well, you know, having just known those guys for one year, um, but really, you know, when you research each and every one of these players and the history and the things that they've done here for this program, those two guys in particular have had outstanding careers. They're great representatives of the program off the field. They're outstanding students. Uh, they're quality leaders on our team. Um, and to see them be at their, you know, at their best when it's needed uh, is satisfying as a coach. It's like number five tonight. Huh? Here you go. So proud of these guys, man. We've got a good group.